there are so many girls and boys out there that'll be like, I can pump you, bitch. I can do your body. Ho, oh, not everybody can do your body, bitch. Like how everybody can't lay a bang. Like how everybody can't beat a face, bitch. Pumping people is not for motherfucking everybody. Hello here, and I'm back again with another video. How is everybody doing out there? I hope you guys are having a good day, a good night, week, whatever is going on for you whenever you're watching this. I hope it's going super, super good. As you can tell by the title of this video, girl, or what ya fool, I am coming in today, one, to do trans talk, which I have not done in so long, since I believe my I'm detransitioning video, and two, if you can tell from the title, I'm talking about getting pumped or going plastic. So, if you guys want to chime in and talk with me about this, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so... Basically, I want to come in today and talk about either, you know, like, getting pumped or getting plastic surgery. If you don't know what getting pumped means, getting pumped is the act of getting raw medical, medical, grade silicone injected into either your breast cavity, your hips, your ass cheeks, girl. You can get it in your face, you can get it in your lips. You can logistically get it almost anywhere in your body. And then, of course, plastic surgery is the art of, you know, getting cosmetic surgery. Now, when it comes down to pumping, pumping is something that in the transgender community is so controversial. Because so, so many of the older girls got pumped, you know, and they looked great, honey. They were serving you body down, fish for days. Like, breast, hips, ass, thighs, lips everything. Cheeks, pumped, gorgeous. And then there are girls, you know, some of the newer girls now that have more or less just gone the plastic surgery route. Now where I'm finding a rock and a hard place is that I could go and get pumped um, or I could get plastic surgery. You know what I mean? Uh, and when I say this, I'm, I'm just talking about my, my uh, breast augmentation. Um, nothing to my face. Um, personally don't want to touch my face. I feel like my face is just fine, girl. I feel like I am just cute as can be because I'm sorry. I personally believe that no matter how pretty you are, when you're trans at some point or another, someone's going to clock that tea, honey, whether you are male to female or female to male. At some point or another, someone's going to clock that tea real quick, bitch, half past two. Clock your ass. And there's nothing you can do about it. So my, as far as my face, I feel like I'm perfectly fine with my face. Um, my body, I'm naturally muscular. There's nothing I can do about that. Serena is muscular too, so I'm all down. Serena and Venus. <laughs> but for me, I mainly want to go for my breasts. Um, just because, you know, I want a nice, full, full, full bosom, bitch. Without, you know, the push-ups and all. But there are really severe things that can happen with both. Um, with pumping, for damn sure, it's very dangerous because it is the act of raw silicone being pumped into your body. There's nothing else but that raw silicone filling up an area or filling that area out. And then, of course, there's always the fear of, you know, the silicone going somewhere else in your body, like shifting and moving or locking up and getting hard or your body's rejecting that medical grade chemical. And because there's nothing in a casing or nothing's being put in a certain area in your body, it can spread, it can move other places, and your body can reject it. And the only way for them to get that silicone out is for them to scrape it out of your body. Now with plastic surgery, um, usually breast augmentation is pretty simple. You go saline, silicone, all comes in a silicone sacking, and then, you know, they do the whole augmentation. There you go. Um, for hips, they kind of do the same thing. Ass, they do the same thing. Uh, face, I don't really know, girl. I, I, sis, I'm not sure, bitch. Okay, I'm not sure on that one, sis. But, um, the only difference is that with plastic surgery, you have to have all that money right there on the spot. You know what I mean? Or you at least have to have a good portion of that money to put down on it. As opposed to pumping, it's still expensive. It's still in the thousands, but it's significantly less. As to where a breast augmentation may be 5000 or higher, that's on the lower end of breast augmentation too, girl. Let's keep that shit real. Uh, pumping, could your first session could be $1,200. And with pumping, it's kind of a more 
instant, automatic, like boom, effect, you know? And with plastic surgery, it is more of a gradual type of deal only because you do have to, you know, take the time, save the money, get the money, find the doctor, get the right doctor, and then go and have your plastic surgery. As we probably have heard from the news, there have been so many people going to jail for so many countless deaths because they did not know what they were doing when they were properly pumping someone. And, you know, that's scary because you don't really know. Now, we all know of a very good doctor in Mexico. Okay, Mexico, girl. Okay, I'm not going to give no names. But we all know of a very good doctor down there in Mexico. It takes a minute to get into that motherfucker, too, to get pumped by that bitch. But when you get pumped by that one, honey, you are pumped right, correctly, and done the right way. And everything is safe. However, I've heard, you know, horror stories, of course, from that. And as well... I've heard so many horror stories from plastic surgery as well. And my thing is, I'm in a rock and a hard place. Because I'm at this place in my life where, of course, I've taken my hormones. Not like I'm supposed to, bitch. I know I ain't shit. But I've been taking my hormones, you know, for a while now. And I just have not had the most breast growth. Um, I'm real thin, just naturally. So my body has no fat to really displace any motherfucking wear. Robbed as a black bitch, might I add. Robbed as a black bitch. Because how I don't got an ass. How do we got some cakes, bitch? Some cheeks, some cheese, some cheddar back there. Yeah. Nothing. Flat back all day. Surfboard ass. But it's whatever. It's fine. It's cool. I still get niggas. <laughs> With my hormone usage, I just had no body fat to redisplace anywhere or really anything like that. I really didn't get that much breast growth. I know that quite a few people have told me from Instagram to YouTube, which thank you girls so much for that. I really do appreciate you to try the um, injectables. Um, however, I am terrified of needles, girl. There's no way, bitch. There's just none. I mean, unless I go to someone and they do them for me, I, other than that, I would not be able to do them because I'm just so terrified of needles. So at this point, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, it's time to go the doctor route. But it's like, do you want to go plastic or do you just want to go pump? You know what I mean? And my thing is, if I was to go pump, of course, I would most likely want to go with the doctor in Mexico. But that's paying for the trip, paying for the room, paying to get pumped, paying for any type of, whatever type of aftercare I might need. Which really, when you get pumped, you really don't need that much aftercare, girl. It's like, you go, you get pumped, you done, you go. But with plastic surgery, of course, it's still, it's triple the times more expensive. Because not only are you paying for consultations, you're paying for, um bras, the after bras that you have to wear, the medications, the doctor's time, the facility's time, the recovery time. And that's something that I am willing to do. However, it's just I don't have a lot of breast tissue. And so therefore, I don't really know what a doctor could really do for me at this point. Like for me, I know my body. I'm naturally so thin and my muscles are naturally so tight. I don't gain weight. I don't really stretch out. I know that I don't really have another option, girl, because mama can eat all the lard, Crisco, and motherfucking chicken grease she wants. It ain't gonna happen for me, bitch. It's just not in the motherfucking cards. So, yeah, this is my rock and a hard place, is either get pumped or go plastic. So, yeah, I will probably pop back in and talk about this more. If any of you guys have any information on this topic, I'm definitely gonna really be looking it up and researching it. Um, but if you guys have any more information on this topic or on getting pumped or getting plastic surgery, please definitely drop me a comment down below. If you want to come on over to my Instagram and private message me so no one sees the shoe, knows that it's you, feel free, girl. My Instagram name is right here, but it is Jayla Bougie. Um, as well, I do have a Snapchat, boo, but look, sis. Look, bitch, that shit's about to get dead, okay? Snapchat's about to get gone. But for now, I do still have my Snapchat, and I'm sure I'll still have it real when this video goes up. So, my Snapchat name is right here, which is also Jayla Bougie. And with that being said, if you guys like the video, please definitely go ahead and give me a like. Just let me know that you guys did like this video as well. Um, please drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think about this, if you guys have experienced getting pumped or gotten plastic surgery. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. If you're not, 
girl, go on ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here and love to have you be a high society member with us, girl. Yes. Get into it. And can we also get into the fact that I have short hair? Bish, slaying this game right now. Slaying. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. And remember, you're all high society. Bye, guys.